A plan to send millions of dollars back to CPS Energy customers has apparently stalled, but the mayor and the city staff who have been pushing for that are not calling it quits. Our Garrett Berger joins us live now with where things stand on this. So Garrett, first things first, how much money are we actually talking about here? Well, Myra, the city gets a portion of CPS Energy revenues in lieu of them paying taxes. And because of the high heat and the high cost of natural gas, everybody's bills have been skyrocketing. And that means that the city's going to take in $75 million more than it had expected to. But we're really only talking about $50 million worth of that. Now, city staff had proposed sending most of that $50 million directly back to you, the CPS customers, as bill credits determined by how much energy uh, people used in July, while another few million dollars would go towards an assistance program for low-income customers. Per the latest version of the plan, the average residential customer would get a $29 credit on their October bill. But while there was support for helping low-income customers that we heard, several council members today said rebates aren't what constituents want. Instead, they talked about using the money to protect against more extreme weather in the future, including weatherizing homes and planting trees. So we could give a uh, one-time rebate, which uh, in District 1 would be $25, or we could help them save, the, a weatherized homeowner, save $372 a year every year. In the face of that opposition and with several council members absent for today's meeting, the city manager said a vote scheduled for next week would be pulled from the agenda and that there would still need to be some more council conversation. Now, council does need to decide what to do with that $50 million relatively quickly. They're scheduled to vote on the, on the budget on September 15th. That's just a little over two weeks from today. Live at City Hall, I'm Gary Berger. KSAT 12 News.